He said, beware of false prophets who come to you in lamb's clothing. You see, it's not hard to wear a disguise. It's not hard. It's not hard. Meanwhile, unfortunately, there are a lot of people whose gospel have succeeded in giving wolves these guys. So instead of planting the kingdom of God in them and not turning that kingdom until it grows, what you give them is rules. Don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. And you give them a disguise. So in your eyes, they will dress like you want them to dress. But what is operational with them is that of a wolf. The nature inside them is the nature of a wolf. You cannot change a man for good from the outside in. That's why the word of God goes into the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, joint and marrow, and is the desire of the intent of the heart. That's where the kingdom of God begins his work from. Not external. Satan is the one who sets up his kingdom externally, and from the external, he seeks to influence the internal. That's how Satan sets up his kingdom. God does not set up his kingdom the way Satan does. This is why the kingdom of God is always described as a seed. It will, it will start his work inside. So when you come to church, what the pastor is doing is that he's tending, he's a gardener. He's tending to the kingdom inside you. He will pour water on it. He will remove weeds from it. And the aim is that that kingdom will grow to become a tree. So that the dominion of the kingdom within can now be seen outward. When people see the life of God exude from every decision you make and everything you stand for, what they are seeing is dominion. When people come and they eat of the robust revelation of God in you, the power of the age to come, what they are eating of is the fruit of the kingdom. Don't be an empty tree beckoning to the nations to eat. You will kill them and you will kill yourself because you are not sufficient to feed them. So if they add Canada now to you, won't you shut down? You know they're shouting. If they add America now to what you have, won't you shut down? Do you have capacity to hold five talent and still stand? Don't be quick to invite people to eat of a, of a tree that has not yet grown. Don't be too quick. God is not in a hurry. He wants that that monster seed he wants it to become a tree inside you and when he bears fruit even if you are giving five nations you can still stand not when they give you five nations your english change immediately the quality of the life of god in you is untouched cannot be tempered with the disciples got to a point where they began to ask themselves a question here and they said now at this level what can separate us from the love of god the things they listed were external realities because that is where Satan builds from. Satan builds from external realities and with the external, what he does is that always to, what he tries to achieve is to darken the light within a man. That is why the three things on which his kingdom relies on are external. The lust of the flesh, external. Lust of the eyes, external. Pride of life, external. The lust of the flesh, uh, that is, the, are we together? This is why the body of a man if not under the government of God, is a slave of sin. Because the body of a man is a slave of the external. So if you are moved by what you feel, the pleasures of this world, Satan will have a place in you. If you are moved by what you see, the deceitfulness, this is why the Bible says we, we walk by faith. Faith is an internal economy. Nef nothing external. Faith is an internal economy. So light gives birth to light. God's gaze is in the secret. So Jesus Christ said, your father, whose gaze is in the secret? Man's gaze is in the outward. That is why Satan can influence more men. But we, the gaze of our God is inside. So we, we walk by a reality that is domiciled inside. And that reality has certain things by which it sustains itself. It doesn't borrow anything from the external to sustain itself. Because from that reality, something called faith. Faith is built. So by that faith, you walk on it and not by sight. Because if you dare walk by sight, then you become a victim of the loss of the eyes. It means what you see can change the economy of God inside you. What you see can change your testimony. And when the economy is down, all of a sudden your prayer life is dying. You are becoming fake. You are becoming a counterfeit. And he now said, the pride of life. The pride of life. The pride of life is built on earthly possession. When you begin to give value for what you have on earth, you are becoming fake. The kind of man 
man's value is on the things that you possess in this realm but for a spiritual man even though you take those things you cannot temper with the quality of life within him does he shake he's hungry he serves the lord he's full he serves the lord he gets the job he serves the lord he loses the job he serves the lord he said they came to a point where even death could not separate them principalities no could not separate them angels could not separate them they, they checked all realms and they discovered that they've, they've they've clocked oh my god they've hit a measure in the spirit satan has many clients in church many clients who participate in his uh, lottery system who who um are, are frequent um visitors in his market he has many clients because they are still they still for prey to either the loss of the eyes the loss of the flesh or the pride of life there is still something in the external that can still flesh the reality of the kingdom within them so at any time the light within them can become darkness but god doesn't set up his kingdom that way everything that god does is internal and what we see as the external manifestation of god is actually the dominion of the internal eternal god what you see in time is the dominion so because god dominates a man then from that man gentiles can look upon light so false prophets they are a masters of the external disguise masters of the external disguise then they, they no lambs clothing because they, they've been in the church and most of them are children of pastors most of them have been in church for 10 years yeah so then the, the clothing they know the clothing of a lamb but look at what this translation says he said but inwardly now that's where the gaze of god is that that's where the true reality of a man comes from god the bible said he said but inwardly there are ferocious wolves let me read from this my translation he said but inwardly there are plundering this is why the false prophet cannot do without what merchandising they cannot do without merchandising making merchandise they are plundering wolves that's why i love this translation they come to you with the garment of a sheep they make you feel that they are speaking of god they come and say can i prophesy as i begin to hear that you see that that prophet is unschooled in the ways of god or is fake because if you want to know the truth of a thing trace the origin of that thing and from the days of the fathers which the bible made reference to he said in old times prophecy came not by the will of man but holy men spake as they were carried by the holy ghost now that's the foundation are we together So there is no can i prophesy no that's why the prophets came and they said thus says the lord the lord has spoken what is left is to speak what the lord has spoken this was why kings hated them because they didn't need the permission of the king to speak the lord's word this was why many kings wanted to cut them down because they were not diplomatic if the lord has spoken they will say this was why many prophets spend their times in jail they spend their times running for their life because they were killed indeed for the words of the testimony they spoke by the spirit of god but in our generation prophets are now celebrities prophets can go in church and prophesy and throw away the mic prophets now have invented nickname and cliches for themselves triple electricity one and people are still bowing down i heard a, a so-called pastor praying and he was saying my father has sent me my father is telling me now to tell you and the father was speaking of what is was his jew now the grace of my father is here now okay my father's angel say i should tell you i say what a sheep what what a fool there is an ancient pattern that has been set and part of what satan will do is that he will make the evening sacrifice cease the ancient pattern will be corrupted as simple as that thing is when that thing came other errors now started coming so it became from can i prophesy it began from there they now got to a point where you cannot travel without prophet. You cannot breathe without prophet. You cannot take two steps without papa. Then it came to a time where even your life now is ruled by papa. Papa, help me prophesy. Your social media, if you don't put papa's picture, then papa, oh my God, that, that is slavery. 
That's not the prophetic. Then Papa will always come and tell you if I give you an instruction. Yes, that is merchandise because they are plundering wolves. The bargain of Satan with the false prophet is this. Keep the people in deception and I will give you the riches of the people. This is why you will hear them give team to program. Progr teams to program that can make sure they steal from you. Who tie my goat? How can the Holy Ghost? Ay, oh, Salem. Jerusalem. Haya. Oh, Salem. Oh, Salem. Look upon our father Abraham. And saw the way he approached his God. When he stood on the mountain and looked upon the plains of Sodom and Gomorrah. Who taught Abraham how to begin with God for the destiny of a nation with souls? He was doing that intercessory work, yet the kings of Sodom did not know that a man who never knew them from anywhere was beginning for their survivor. That's a prophet. Not my dad, if I work for you, what will I get? This is why God sent us. Yes, I am. Use the name of Jesus, but add this miracle water. You are fake. Use the name of Jesus, but this special kerchief, buy it for 10,000. You are fake. Use the name of Jesus, but see, there's this pool. You need to swim. You are fake. Use the, the prophets of old, signify things to come by the Holy Ghost. But see, idolatry begins when you begin to serve another God with your God. He said, I'm the Lord your God, and what? You shall have no other God, what? Beside me, that's why I don't like to begin from. You will not begin mixture, so you can sit under Papa, and all you will know is how to make money. You will never know Jesus. So, to you, Papa is your solution. My prophet, my prophet, that thing came from a dark place in the spirit. Look at the life of the New Testament prophet and look upon their witness, the prophetic ministry is to first bring witness to Jesus by the spirit to testify to bring guidance the church of old was so robust in the operation with God that the apostle Paul said let two three prophesy and let the others judge he didn't say let only papa pray he said no two three prophesy and then other men are dead that they can judge papa cannot bamboozle anybody because in that congregation ten people hear God <laughs> 